Craig, who's that character? You need the one. From the Backyardigans? Yes, from the Backyardigans. Do you want to meet Craig? Do you want to go? No. You get a high five. You get a high five. Aww. Are you ready for a picture? Yeah. Unique will notice your t-shirt. We're going to have to ask you about that. Is it your birthday? Yep, my birthday. What? You love birthdays. This deserves a picture, I think. You want to stand up? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, unique will do. Which birthday is it? How old are you now? 32. 32. September 17th. That's amazing. It's September 17th. Can you count that high? You, you ran out of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about 32. That's a good number. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, I, Craig really enjoyed that. I don't know how uh, good you could hear because it's pretty noisy in here and I don't have my microphone with me. And here's the Lego store. So we have been to a Lego store in Disney Springs. It's pretty cool because they have these tables set up where your kids can build their own Legos. Or you can too, kids and adults. Let's take a walk through the store. There's Mario and Luigi. I think meeting that character made Craig's day. <laughs> you gonna build something? No. You just like playing with that wheel? Yeah. You have Disney characters and is this... Mm -hmm. What are these from, Craig? Is it Lord of the Rings? Yeah, is it, yeah Frodo. Do you know? Harry Potter. It's from Harry Potter. That shows you how much I know. Oh, look at the Mickey Mouse though. He's so cute. He's only $9.99. And this little carousel ride. I don't think Craig saw this. The Inside Out Gang. Craig's found something over. Oh, he sees the Lion King. There's the inside out. Yeah, that's that new anxiety. Mm-hmm. And joy. Mm -hmm. Little like so cute, these little like doll houses that you can make. Lego is just fantastic and coming up with new and exciting things all the time. Aladdin's castle. Harry Potter castle. Craig went back to the build your own. Oh, that's like is that lighting up? Oops. Just gonna put it back together. Craig's pretty good about a simple Legos. We've never done a big set with him. I don't think he'd have the patience. It's kind of like puzzles. He doesn't really have the patience for it. He's figuring it out. No, he gave up. <laughs> and a nutcracker and a candle that I'm sure lights up. We have some gingerbread men down there. So much fun. It's just, you could look in here for hours and hours, I think. Especially if you're a Lego person. Here's another one where you can build your own minifigures. Oh, Craig's getting tired. Okay, you can sit out there. I'll find Dad. Craig's ready to sit down. Joe's probably dreaming of buying one of these over here. Lord of the Rings. Which one would you want? This one, of course. That's how it builds. It's, it's Harry Potter, right? Yeah. And it's got a working, little working track. That's the mine, underneath in the mine. That's really cool. And that is $429.99. Yep. That's what to get for someone who has everything. A $500 Lego set. Look at the Millennium Falcon. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a fun store. So the flowers. Haley likes to do these flower yeah. ones. You gotta look at this one. Craig went and sat out there. <laughs> he needed to sit down. Look at that. 849. And, they've got and it one doesn't on the come with everything either. It just comes with these characters right here. Right. The ones that are right it's here. It's the ship and the characters. These probably too. Yeah. So it nice. comes with, I guess, several characters. <laughs> Better for people. Yeah, yeah, well, I would hope so. We made it back to the food court on this end of the mall. Because I'm thinking I might want some Johnny Rockets. I really wasn't very hungry when we were at Ikea, so I ate like one meatball. I honestly can't think of anything that sounds really good, but I think Johnny Rockets sounds pretty good. A good view of the big Legos from the Lego store. And this is Johnny Rockets right here. Got these cool booze in here. Craig can sit down. Oh, feels better to sit down. Yep. So look at the menu. Oh, I think I'm getting a rocket dog. The songs are playing it takes you right back to happy days <laughs> that's where i know all the songs from i think back to the future yeah it's happy music i feel like it's very happy craig do you know any shows tv shows from the 50s the huckleberry hound show is that the only one well sam and friends sam and friends I don't think I've ever heard of that one. What's Sam and Friends? It was the first Muppet TV show. Oh, okay. Well, the birthday boy decided to get the dirt and worm shake. Um, ketchup, I think, is fine. Our onion rings arrived. Look at those nice, crispy. Oh, I'll just hold one up. They're nice and crispy. Craig, I don't think he's ever had a shake before. He really wasn't understanding what a shake was. How do you like it? Not bad. I love it. He kept asking me if I had ice cream in it. So I'm pretty sure he's never had a shake before. I mean, I don't remember it. Joe has the strawberry shake. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I ordered the strawberry shake. We don't really have shakes very often. It's really good, though. The consistency is perfect. A lot of times when you get a shake, it's it's too hard. You can't suck it down too with the straw. I know I could, but I can still spoon it up. So it's a really good one. I like it. Here's my Coney dog, which I didn't realize it had the, what they, what is fondly known as plastic cheese. I thought it was going to be sprinkled on. We'll see how I feel about that. But the hot dog did sound really good. The hot dog's good, but super hard to eat. Um, the cheese sauce just makes it really hard to eat because it keeps getting on my fingers. So I'm cutting it with a knife and eating with a fork, which is kind of hard because the fork, <laughs> they're pretty cheap forks. Like we had some lunch. That wasn't the best <laughs> food I've ever had. The mainly, if I had known that the cheese was cheese sauce, I would have never got that. So that kind of ruined it for me. It was super hard to eat. 
Now we're headed into Macy's because that's where Toys R Us is. I have actually, I don't think I've ever been to a Macy's. All right, so we'll go downstairs to find Toys R Us. We've reached the bottom. This looks like women's. We just have to locate where is Toys R Us? We're not on the first level, are we? We have to go down one more. Okay, I see a Toys R Us sign. Oh. It's perfect, Craig. I love it. <laughs> Craig found a nice chair to sit with Joffrey. Let's look at the rest of Toys R Us. This is, it's a little disappointing to me because I thought it was going to be an actual store in the mall. It's just a part of, yeah, it's just part of Macy's. Let's see if they have any Toys R Us exclusives, though. this sale over here that's what I have to look at look at Marvin's magic gosh Livy would love that how much is it marked down to it's marked down to $29.93 that's the only stuff you find a price tag on yeah everything else yeah yeah check don't you want to look at the toys no are you tired no no, you just like sitting there yep. with your old friend Joffrey. Mm -hmm. Joffrey, is that you? <laughs> Hi, Craig. I thought Toys R Us was closed. Joffrey, how come Toys R Us was closed on since you got moved in? Is that because I moved to Macy's? I'm back in business. <laughs> Do you know the Toys R Us song? I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. This store is called Hook. And it looks like a lot of, a lot of boutique-y, maybe cultural outfits. For lack of a better word, that's all I can think of. This is Charlotte Roos. Gosh, I remember shopping here with Stephanie when she was a teenager. I didn't even know they still had Charlotte Roos. It was a good place to get some cheap clothes for a teenager. Unless there's a Carter store right here in Oshkosh. Right next door to Carter's, which I was just in shopping for the kids. There's the Kappa Toys. This looks like a kid's paradise. What do you think of that, Craig? Nice. You like that reindeer? Yeah. I love it. That's so cool. I only have little ones of it. I'll see the, I'll see the words. Please do not touch. So, oh, you yeah. know, when I... See, they turned them all, and then they used. They had to get them all right. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is a fun store. This isn't your run-of-the-mill toy store. Oh, groovy glow man. They have a snowman neato. I'm kind of addicted to these neato toys. I'm guessing it's $4.99. Let's see the other ones are. I may have to get this. Oh, look at these spooky squishies. I love it. Some Sanrio items here. Oh, it's a cute blanket down there. Let's see what Craig's looking at. He found him a fidget. Oh, duck feet. Put them on your fingers. 
So you pretend you're a duck. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we used to. There's a lot in here to look at. Let me look. Glitter candy stickers. Yeah. Well, I can't. I have no rhythm, so. Mario beans for plushies. He's really happy in here. Yes, Monchichis. Oh, that's a good fidget. I think those fly. We bought some little ones of those ones. Those are bigger. Remember we bought those yeah. little tiny ones? You want one, Craig? No, that didn't work. No, the little ones don't yeah. work. Yeah. I think we should buy it anyway. What did you find? Oh, some flyers. Flingers. They're Scratching. Cling. Oh, yeah, they'll like that. Got this big fish over here with, it looks like a Harry Potter hat on. A photo op here. That's beautiful. Let's come in, Craig, and see. How did you hurt your finger? By that fidget thingy. What, you just you hit your finger? Yes. Oh, look at these. This oh. is recalled. Recalled? Yes. We were just going to buy one of those for you, and then you hurt yourself with it. There's an area where little kids can play on the bouncies. Those? Oh, okay. That makes sense now. Oh, the pink flamingo. They just have the perfect neck. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> He's not impressed. Going to go to this mochi mochinito we have mochi donuts some korean corn dogs oh it's mochi nut i just couldn't read the whole sign bubble tea we're gonna give these a try let's look at the case oh that one looks good oh it's nutella do it like that creme brulee that looks good Oh, there's some really good looking ones. Lemon, rainbow spring, raspberry funnel cake. Coffee. I guess we'll have a raspberry funnel cake. All right, we have placed our order. Joe got this cherry berry drink with boba. Got a Diet Pepsi. We got these. Mochi donuts. Craig wanted the raspberry filled. Oh, Joe got lemon and I got creme brulee. And then we have a Korean corn dog coming that has, it's coated in potato chips and it has mozzarella cheese. I asked the girl working here and that's the one she suggested. That are the hot Cheetos and I didn't really want hot Cheetos. This is a really cute restaurant. I'm, I'm going to show you around. Let's do a little spin around so you can see everything. It's actually a really nice, quiet place. You could even sit back further and get more quiet. I think Craig's happy that we're just sitting down and having a drink and 
relaxing. I've been doing quite a bit of shopping in the last hour or so. Finally got to do my shopping and buy the girls some stuff naturally. This is a cute sign. How did you like the cherry berry drink? It's, a, it's actually pretty good. It's not sweet. It's a, it's a bit on its sour side. It's mm. really good. I like not real sweet. It's got, it's got a lot of uh, like boba chunks. Mm -hmm. right it's a chewy boba, not the, mm -hmm. not yes, the popping yeah. boba. I'm very intrigued on how they make these and get the tops on. And yeah. And Craig is just happy over there. Happy Craig. Happy Craig, happy life. I'm gonna, oh, Craig, you try it. Let's see how you, if you like it. <laughs> what do you think? Tastes delicious. Oh, that's great to hear. <laughs> he's having no <laughs> it looks like he's eating in slow motion it's all right craig we'll we'll fix so it when we're done tastes like raspberry you got a little powdered sugar on your upper lip do, do you like it yeah i like it i'm going to try a drink of the cherry berry mm. it tastes like cherry kool-aid <laughs> That's a good thing. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Yeah. I always love the chewy mochas too. Mochis. Mo they're not mochis. What are they called? Che oh, the bobas. chewy boba. That's it. <laughs> try my donut. I learned from Craig. Just break off a bubble. They are chewy. Delightful. Oh, maybe it's next. It's not time. overly sweet, and I like that. Do you like it? What was the, what was the flavor you had yesterday? I had like fruity pebbles yesterday. Oh yeah, see, I like this better. The lemon works better. The texture. I really, I love this the chewy texture of it, and it takes you a little longer to eat, so you get to enjoy it longer. And now I got my corn dog. So up next, Korean corn dog. I'll have to go over there and check out the dipping sauces. It looks good, though. It smells so good. They have several dipping sauces. There's honey mustard, yellow mustard, sweet chili, ranch, mango habanero. Nope. <laughs> Ketchup, a spicy mayo, and a some sriracha sauce hmm. and they also have some sugar here what do i want to try on mine maybe sweet chili sauce and mustard and craig might want ketchup if he's going to try it i'm not sure I bet he will, because it looks really good. I'm going to try the first bite, just because I think then it will be easier for Craig. Because it's a little hard to hold on to this. I'll just try it without anything on it first. That bite, just cheese, and coating. Very yummy. Delicious. I'd get this again 100%. I don't see any hot dog in here. So, is it not really a hot, it's just cheese inside and no hot dog? I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining because it's really good. But I was expecting a hot dog. I'm going to try it with the chili sauce. Chili sauce is the way to go. It's so good with that chili sauce. It's delicious. Craig? doesn't want to try it he saw the cheese pull and that grossed him out so he's not going to try it we stopped in to see the squishimals look at this one i love this this is so cute and it's 25 dollars craig's looking at the alligators 
They're strange looking alligators. Yeah, the whale. The whale's really cool too, isn't it? Oh, the flying saucer. Is this a trash can? It's a trash can. That's cool. <laughs> I like it. The pigeon. It's a flower, a rose, a fat goat. <laughs> he looks like he's going to explode. There's a big bumblebee. So cute. Super, super cute. These. I don't know what these are really called. But they have lots of different ones of those. What did you say? Candy corn. Look at the pumpkin. Kind of a pumpkin scarecrow. It's a duck. I don't know how... I'm not sure that's her fall, but it's cute. Craig likes the possum over here. He's kind of where he likes to wag their tails. <laughs> it's a, a pumpkin spice drink. It's a little pumpkin. This could be a little boo. A pumpkin with a cat inside. Is there really like a full dog in there that you can take out? Yeah, like there is. Is this is this a haunted house? Yeah. Yep. There's a little ghost there. Oh, like, there's a werewolf. That's why. Like he's the best. Mm -hmm. like the best. He's cute. Craig, you ghost. Ever Look at the spiders. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, see. There's a purple bat. Is that a mushroom? What is it that you have? I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out what the Dr. Plague. That's is that what it's they're called? Yeah, and that's a wrap on the Mall of America. And we're heading back to our hotel. It's 5.03, but first we had to stop to get gas. When we checked into the hotel, Craig was talking about that it was we were here for his birthday. So the nice lady at the front desk gave us a voucher for a free pizza and a six pack of pop. And that's what we're having tonight on the night of Craig's birthday. The pizza, it actually looks really good. It's big too. That is a big pizza. The pizzas, I looked on the menu last night down there, are $20 each. So. That's a pretty nice thing to give us for his birthday. Well, Craig, how's our pizza? Good, Mama. <laughs> and Craig was happy to get back to the hotel today. We went down for happy hour, and Craig decided just to stay in the room. And that's been, he needed to just have some time alone and chill and watch some TV, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Craig, what was your favorite part of the Mall of America? The museum. The Museum of Illusions? Mm -hmm. You know what? I that think maybe that's my favorite thing, too. I really did enjoy that. My fav What was your favorite food that we had to eat at the mall? The shake. The shake? You hardly drank any of it, though. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. If you want to say. The onion rings. The onion rings. I'm trying to think of what else you had to eat at the mall. What did we eat yesterday? The cream puff. Which I really like. The mochi donut. Mm -hmm. uh, what did we have yesterday for lunch at the mall, though? And, oh, we ate at the Rainforest Cafe. Mm -hmm. I bet that lasagna is really your favorite mm -hmm. thing. That lasagna was good. I wish I would have ordered that instead of what I got. Which was okay, but not as good as Craig's lasagna. Mm -hmm. I mean, he gave the restaurant a 10 out of 10. One of my favorite thing, I think, is the Korean corn dog I had today. That was really good and unusual and that cream puff was really good too mm. and craig says now leave me alone so i can eat my pizza and right, change my pajamas yeah you can put your pajamas to show on. you our haul from the mall of america and ikea first i'm going to show you the things we bought for ourselves, and then i'm going to show you the things we bought for the girls we bought these different flavors of lays at a store called uni and i got these cactuses at ikea 
when we went to the rainforest cafe our glasses we didn't know but they were souvenirs which is pretty incredible because this this is actually glass it's heavy and then this is a light up one i don't know if it'll still light up or not or how you turn it on oh it's still still light up well that's fun Joe got this shirt at the Minnesota store when I'm, it was a, like a Minnesota souvenir store. <laughs> it's so funny. And then I got this one for Craig. This, he picked this out actually with Paul Bunyan and his blue ox. Actually, I got a shirt too, but I wore it today. I got these at Ikea to try. This was from the Squishable store. Craig picked out this pin. This is a souvenir we bought for Joe's sister because she loves Tigger. I got this postcard for a souvenir. When we went to the Rainforest Cafe. Uh, Craig picked out this pin for our pin board. And I got a magnet from the Minnesota store. And this is also from the Rainforest Cafe. Craig was playing with it. It's <laughs> it's a really fun like fidget stress toy. And then I got these today when we went to the Museum of Illusions. Postcards. And then I got this one too. I picked this one because Craig likes colors so much so I figured he'd like that. And the nice lady that helped us uh, gave Craig these stickers because it was his birthday. We got this uh, little zip string, which is pretty cool. Uh, Joe was demonstrating it in the video. We got this pin art. This is what Craig was playing with constantly in the store. And we actually used to have one of these when he was younger. And this little spinner, which is for your desk. And the lady said, this one looks like a waterfall when you spin it. There was a different one there that kind of looked like it had constellations on it. Craig got himself some Mad Magazines at Barnes & Noble. He was so excited to go to Barnes & Noble and get these. So that's all. Uh, that's our haul of souvenirs for us. And I'll show you what I got for the girls. Oh, and I got this cute bag from Uni Uni. That's what they gave me my items in, which I thought was pretty cool. I did go a little crazy buying things for the girls. And Joe even helped me pick out some of them. I got these Hello Kitty outfits at Zara. I think they're so cute. They come with these matching leggings. And then I got, actually they only had this in Libby's size, but I knew she'd love the unicorn. And those cute unicorn skinny jeans. And then I got each, I got each of the girls a leopard print dress, which is so cute. It comes with this little shirt that goes under it these are from zara macy's was having a good sale i got them each this hello kitty shirt i got this jacket for libby they didn't have one in josie's size which i found that to be with a lot of things but i think livia will love this with the rainbow that she wanted a rainbow dress that's what she told me i did find well actually joe found this rainbow dress and then i got these peppa pig outfits for them because i love them and these pants are so cute to go with them i thought they were adorable i can't wait for the girls to wear these I mean, don't worry i didn't leave out colby i got him some outfits too i like this one papa's napping buddy was true and the funny thing is i think maybe this came with this outfit because i totally do not remember this they don't even have a dog right now so this is my best dance pause i love this little bear outfit and colby does look really good in that color i got him this halloween outfit it's so cute with a little pumpkin on the butt carter's was having a good sale everything was half off um, most of the items in the store. There were some that weren't, but all the things I bought was. And then we bought this at Macy's and then these pants to go with it. And I found this in Carter's for Libby. 
it just reminds me of her. Unfortunately, once again, they didn't have it in Josie's size. But don't worry because everything that Libby's wearing now, Josie will get to wear probably next year. I got this little basket of vegetables at Ikea. This slime, the girls love slime, and I thought this like gummy worm slime. You put these little worms and stuff in it. Just trying to get in the picture, however, <laughs> he wasn't. Oh, this is just more candy that I forgot that we got. We did get these in some gold coins. I love those chocolate coins. And I think that that's all. 